Welcome to another Zero Guy video where hands on learning is priority one. I'm an Azure administrator, an Azure security engineer, as well as an Azure solutions architect. Question number eight troubleshooting and fixing a pod. We're going to create a new pod from a YAML file to be found on my GitHub. We're going to check the pod status, see any issues, follow the logs to find the issue. And then fix the issue by shilling into the container. After the fix, the current date should be written to a file. Let's get started. Okay, welcome to our first task for question number eight. Troubleshooting and fixing a pod. And what we want to do here is, from a YAML file, create a pod that's going to have some known issues. So we're going to get that from uh, GitHub. So I'm going to start a new window here. And I want to go to, looks like HTTPS, github.com slash speed racer 55 slash ccad dash files and I want to get this file right here so I'm going to click on it choose raw and just do a control C come over here to new and do a control V alright so there it is I'm going to close that, going to create the pod, and pod filling pod create it. All right, end of task one, off to task number two. All right, here we are at task number two of question eight. I'm going to combine task two and three because they're very much related. So we want to check the pod status. To me, that means QPTL get pods. And you can see failing pods is doing okay. So it uh, doesn't seem to be any issues there. Um, then the next part says follow the log to find the issue okay so there is an issue and logs can be misleading uh, logs obviously is logs but uh, I'm going to check the uh, events of the container uh, the events first so kubectl pod failing cube, uh, hold on, I'm sorry I messed up cube describe Pod failing pod. This should give us the events of the pod. When I say events, this is what I mean. And uh, we successfully pulled the image, start a container. So everything looks pretty good there. Uh, I'm just going to check here for anything crazy. Everything looks pretty good here. So uh, could just really mean literally the logs. So kubectl logs and the name, I th it's called failing pod. Oh, there we go. Can't create root temp current date text. So there's our probably our problem. Because if we look at the YAML file, which I closed. You can see our path is here. So I'm guessing that path does not exist. All right, so uh, that's tasks two and three. Move on to the final task number four. Okay, we want to shell into our container. So here is the command for that.
There we go. And let's go ahead and do a make dir dash p utility slash tmp. And then we'll go ahead and change that folder. There we go. We got our file there. So now if we do a cat cur date dot text, we can see some entries there, which is excellent. So we'll exit out of there. Now if we do our cube ctl logs failing pod, uh, we ha still have some errors, but those are probably some from before, but come on, we can, we can make sure of that. We can add, I believe there's a select equal, say, the last 60 seconds. I could have sworn that's what it was, but when it fail, use help. Select or. There we go. Select or. I was close. kubectl logs failing. Pod. Select door equal sixty seconds. For a pod name. What do I don't have right there? We could also do this. But why is the selector working? Let's see. Dash slash equals selector. Pretty sure that's. Oh, selector is for labels. Hold on. There is something here for time. Since, since. If you're wondering where I got that from, sorry for the, but here it is right here. Now I think we'll be cooking. There we go, no logs there. Or we could do failing pod, I believe slash F. And you see we're not getting anything new here. And here's the F. All right, so we're looking pretty good there. And I think that uh, ends this question. Good question. Thanks, everyone, for watching.